Let me bring up Eliezer Yudkowsky and his warnings to uh, to human civilization that AI will likely kill all of us. Uh, what are your thoughts about his perspective on this? Can you steel man his case? And uh, what aspects with it do you disagree? One thing that I find concerning in the discussion of his arguments that um, many people are dismissive of his arguments, but the counter arguments that they're giving are not very convincing to me. And uh, so based on this state of discussion, I find that from Eliezer's perspective, and I think I can take that perspective to some approximate degree, that probably is normally at his intellectual level, but it's uh, I think I see what he's up to and why he feels the way he does, and it makes total sense. I think that his perspective is somewhat similar to the perspective of Ted Kaczynski, the infamous Luna bomber, and not that uh, Eliezer would be willing to send pipe bombs to anybody to blow them up, but when he wrote this Times article in which he warned about AI being likely to kill everybody and that we would need to um, stop its development or halt it, I think there is a risk that he's taking that somebody might get violent if they read this and get really, really scared. Right. So uh, I think that there is some consideration that he's making where he's already going in this direction where he has to take responsibility if something happens and people get harmed. And the reason why Ted Kaczynski did this was that from his own perspective, technological society cannot be made sustainable. It's doomed to fail. It's going to lead to an environmental and eventually also a human holocaust in which we die because of the environmental destruction, the uh, destruction of our food chains, the pollution of the environment. And so from Kaczynski's perspective, we need to stop industrialization. We need to stop technology. We need to go back because he didn't see a way moving forward. Right. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that in some sense, there's a similarity in Eliezer's thinking of, uh, to, to this kind of fear about progress. And I'm not dismissive about this at all. I, I take it quite seriously. And I think that there is a chance that uh, could happen that if we build machines that get control over processes um, that are crucial for the regulation of life on Earth, and we no longer have agency to influence what's happening there, that this um, might create large-scale disasters for us. Do you have a sense that the, the march towards this uncontrollable autonomy of superintelligent systems is inevitable? That there's no, I mean, that's essentially what he's saying, that there's no hope. His advice to young people <laughs> was prepare for a short life. I don't think that's useful. I think that um, from a <laughs> pragmatic perspective, yeah. you have to bet always on the timelines in which you are alive. That may, doesn't make sense to have a, a, a financial bet uh, in which you bet that the financial system is going to disappear, right? Yeah. Because uh, there cannot be any payout for you. So in principle, you only need to bet on the timelines in, in which you're still around or uh, people that you matter about or things that you matter about, maybe consciousness on Earth. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is a, a deeper issue for me personally, and that is, I don't think that life on Earth is about humans. I don't think it's about human aesthetics. I don't think it's about Eliezer and his friends, even though I like them. It's uh, There is something more important happening, and this is complexity on Earth resisting entropy mm -hmm. by building structure that develops agency and awareness. And that's, to me, very beautiful. And we are only a very small part of that larger thing. We are a species that is able to be coherent a little bit individually over sh uh, very short time frames. Mm -hmm. But as a species, we are not very coherent. As a species, we are children. We basically are very joyful and um, energetic and experimental and explorative mm -hmm. and sometimes desperate and sad and grieving and hurting. But we don't have a respect for duty as a species. As a species, we do not think about what is our duty to life on Earth and to our own survival. So we make decisions that look good in the short run, but in the long run uh, might prove disastrous. And I don't really see a solution to this. So to, in my perspective, as a, as a species, as a civilization, we're per default dead. We are in a very beautiful time in which we have 
found this giant deposit of fossil fuels in the ground and mm -hmm. use it and uh, to build a fantastic civilization in which we don't need to worry about food and clothing and housing for the most part in a way that is unprecedented in life on Earth for any kind of conscious observer, I think. And um, this time is probably going to come to an end in a way that is um, not going to be smooth. Mm. And when we crash, it could be also that we go um, extinct, probably not near term, but ultimately I I'm, don't have very high hopes that humanity is around in a million years from now. So you and yeah. I don't think that life on Earth will end with us, right? There's going to be more complexity, there's more intelligent species after us, there's probably um, more interesting phenomena in the history of consciousness. But we can contribute to this. And part of our contribution is that we are currently trying to build thinking systems, systems that are potentially lucid, that understand what they are and what their condition to the universe is and can make choices about this that are not built from organisms and that are potentially much faster and much more conscious than human beings can be. And these systems will probably not completely displace life on Earth, but they will coexist with it. And they will build all sorts of agency in the same way as biological systems build all sorts of agency. And that to me is extremely fascinating and it's probably something that we cannot stop from happening. So I think right now there's a very good chance that it happens and there are very few ways in which we can produce a coordinated effect to stop it in the same way as it's very difficult for us to make a coordinated uh, effort to stop um, production of carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. Right. So th this, uh, it's probably going to happen. But And the thing that's going to happen is is going to lead to a change of how life on Earth, Earth is happening. But I don't think it, the result is some kind of gray goo. It's not something that's going to dramatically reduce the complexity in favor of something stupid. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to make life on Earth and consciousness on Earth way more interesting. So more higher co complex consciousness yes. will make the lesser consciousnesses flourish even more. I suspect that what uh, could very well happen, if you're lucky, is that we get integrated into something larger.